In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install and set up Firefly. Firefly allows you to use the program Grasshopper to control an Arduino with its visual programming language. The first thing we need is a piece of software called Rhinoceros 3D, more commonly known as Rhino. Just Google Rhino 3D. Head to the Rhino website. Click on the Download tab. And here you'll find the download for a 90 day trial. I'm using Rhino 6 for Windows in this example. Uh, I already have it installed, so I won't go through the process. Just follow the instructions. I'll just take a moment to mention that Rhino is one of the more affordable 3D modeling packages, and they have some heavy discounts for both students and teachers. Uh, what sets it apart from normal educational software is that you can use it for commercial purposes. So you get effectively the same software as the commercial version, and you can use it for commercial activities. Now that you've installed Rhino 3D, the next piece of software we need is the Arduino IDE. Just Google Arduino, head to the home page, up to software, downloads. Pick the version for your operating system. I use the Windows installer. I'll just note that this version of Arduino doesn't currently work with the Firefly code, but there's a fix we can do for that later. Gives you the option to donate. Uh, I've already donated, or you can just hit download. And now that you've installed Arduino, the third and final piece of software we need is Firefly itself. Just Google Firefly, probably with the word Arduino. Uh, and there's two places you can download it from. You can download it from their own website, Firefly Experiments. And also you can download it from Food for Rhino, which is a website of Rhino plugins. If you download it from their website, it's just on the download page. Uh, you have to fill out your details and click download, then go ahead and install it. Uh, for the Firefly Food for Rhino, just download the latest version in the 64-bit. Uh, you do have to sign up to Food for Rhino to download it here as well. It's probably a good idea to install the Arduino ID before Firefly, because Firefly installs some examples that may not appear otherwise. So Firefly is a plugin for Grasshopper, which is part of Rhino, uh, and it requires you to install a special sketch or program on the Arduino microcontroller to allow it to communicate to and control it. So the first step is to open the Arduino IDE. Plug your Arduino in. Uh, just make sure that the COM port is showing and you've selected the right Arduino. So up in File, under Sketchbook, you've got the Firefly Fermata. So go ahead and upload this to the Arduino by clicking on the right arrow. And what you notice is that it returns an error. This right to DAC was not declared in this scope. Um, this is because the Firefly code was written prior to this version of Arduino. So this would work fine on Arduino 1.6.5 and earlier. Um, but anything later, we have to modify the code slightly to get it to work, uh, which is not a big deal. To do that, scroll down to the end of the code where you see this hashtag if defined and this hashtag and if. And we just want to cut this line and paste it within this void right to DAC. And we want to do something similar with this hashtag down here. So I'm just cutting that and pasting it effectively within these two curly brackets, this one at the end and this one up here. And then go ahead and upload that again. So 
So that's done uploading successfully. If you do actually scroll up here, you will notice there is an error up here, but, or it's a warning, uh, it doesn't cause any issues. As long as you see this done uploading, then everything has worked at this end. So go ahead and close the Arduino IDE. Uh, you might want to take note of which COM port your Arduino was on. So mine is on COM port 4. This can change when you turn your computer off sometimes uh, or unplug a USB. So keep an eye on this COM port 4. You can always come back to your Arduino ID if you want to see which port the Arduino is on. The next thing to do is to open up Rhino. Once Rhino opens, you're presented with this four panel layout. This is the 3D modeling end of Rhino. We're not actually gonna use this part right now. Um, so just head up to the top here, you'll see a, a command line and just type in grasshopper. Oftentimes these will autofill before you finish. And this is the grasshopper window. This is where we'll be doing all our programming for the Arduino. Um, now the Arduino does have to stay connected to a computer running Rhino to work with any of these programs. Up the top is a number of tabs. These are the functions within Grasshopper. Uh, each section of the tab also has a drop down which often reveals more functions. Uh, we're going to use a bunch of these but none of these are specific to Firefly. So if you come over here you'll see Firefly as long as everything installed correctly. Uh, now these functions are specific to Firefly and again if you hit the drop down tab you will often see some extra ones come up. To test that everything's working and that Firefly is communicating with the Arduino I'm just going to create a basic program that will turn on an LED. The first part we need uh, is an open port which is up here on the top left. Just left click and drag onto the screen. This is going to be needed for every program uh, and you'll need one per Arduino you're using and yes Firefly can communicate with more than one Arduino at once. Each one just needs its own port number. Just zooming up with the mouse wheel. So this Firefly module needs a series of inputs. Uh, if you hover over it will tell you what it's seeking. So if I hover over open uh, it says that it wants a true false boolean which is really just a, a switch. So to bring up a switch hit the space bar, search for uh, toggle and we want this boolean toggle. Left click on this semicircle node and drag it out to open, let go. And the next thing we need is a port number which is just after an integer or a number. Uh, the easiest way to get a number is to hit spacebar and just type the number you're after. So I'm after number 4 because my Arduino is on COM port 4. Uh, so I hit 4 and then enter and it already brings up a slider with the number 4. Now this one I want to connect to port the board rate is another number. Uh, it's not one you need to input as long as you leave everything as standard in the Firefly for Marta that you uploaded to the Arduino. And message needs a panel. You can also double left click on the screen to bring up this search box. Connect the panel, you can see the serial port is closed. Uh, so here we just have to double left click on false, which changes it to true. Uh, hooray, the serial port is now open, meaning it's connected. Now it will display this on a serial port that's not connected to an Arduino in a computer as well. So just make sure that number four is the port that's on your Arduino if your computer has more than one COM port showing up. The next thing we need is an UNO write. Left click and drag onto the screen. So this is to write a high value to the LED which effectively turns it on. 
and it also needs a start. Now this is also a Boolean toggle, so you can actually double up and steal one from here. And it also needs a port number. So again, I can double this up and take one from here. Another panel will give us the output. So each one of these lows coming up here actually refers to each digital pin. So this one is digital pin 13. The next one along is digital pin 12. Uh, and they will tell us when we've turned on one of these pins. So I've got the LED connected to digital pin 10. Uh, you can see the screen now for a circuit diagram of how that's hooked up. And what I'm going to use is another Boolean toggle just to switch on pin 10. So double left click or hit spacebar to search. Type toggle. Connect that to pin 10. Double click false to turn it on or change it to true. Here you notice that one of the pins has changed to high and the LED on the Arduino has lit up. So this means that Firefly is successfully communicating to the Arduino. If you want some examples to get you started, uh, if you go into Documents, Firefly, Examples, you'll see a number that have been installed. These are in the .gh file format. Uh, which is the Grasshopper code format. If you double click on them here though, they will open another instance of Rhino and Grasshopper. Um, so if you want to load them within your current instance, you'll have to do so through File, uh, Open Document. You can also find some further examples and videos on my website.